And this week's Newbie Views product review is shotgun microphone for your digital camera. Today I've selected a DigiPower compact shotgun mic. This microphone competes at the very low end of the shotgun mics that you would put on a camera. Now, if you have a phone that has a lightning connector like an iPhone 10, 11 with the lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter. Now, this is a microphone that will support your digital cameras like your Canon, Nikon, Sony. This, unlike the Rode Micro, is powered by a battery. So this does use a 3 volt CR2 battery that's included with the mic. This is definitely unidirectional, so it's going to reduce sound from the background and focus on your voice. I'm going to give this a try because I do have a Rode micro video microphone. I wonder if this is any good considering the price. This is $20. I got this at Best Buy. It's available online. It's available pretty much everywhere. Accessories are sold. So let's get right into it. It has a foam windscreen. Don't know how effective it would be, but let's have a look. Get it open. I'm not expecting great things from it, but for $20, versus a road which is almost a hundred dollars with tax it's about ninety dollars plus tax this is twenty dollars well, let's see what if if this can beat a road or a deity so in the box that was into that uh digi power includes a bit of a warranty information on it i don't know what else i can tell you about it so, warranty. All right. Okay. First, they give you a battery, a CR2 battery, one battery. This battery is probably worth about five bucks, so there's a cost right there. One battery. They also give you, <laughs> on first, pickup this is all plastic it has a plastic mount a plastic foot it has a metal insert for the one quarter inch tripod adapter that's nice this is all plastic interesting let's pull off the windscreen oh there we go oh so I don't know if you saw that, guys. So this is probably roughly about four inches, maybe five inches in a shotgun mic. It definitely has an on and off button. So it's got on, off, and then it's got 90 degrees and 120 for the angle, which is very useful. And I'm wondering how to add the battery I would like to know okay battery oh looks like we just have to to insert the battery I don't know if you saw that there is the battery chamber is at the back there are some gnarled plastic ribs that we just pull back and the battery chamber opens so pretty convenient although there's no real lock to it i'm a little worried that this cap may break over time but remember guys this is 20 bucks so let's go ahead and put that mic in again the spring at the, the bottom so the negative side goes in it's actually kind of a <laughs> that's pretty terrible it's a pretty loose fit i hope it actually turns on all right i'm going to put the battery cap back on all right, let's move in for a close up. When I do turn it on, the light does turn on. 
I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Off. And on. All right. So that is it. Uh, let's see how long this cord is. You don't want it too, too long. Uh, a lot of people have requested some sort of removable cord. So if the cord gets damaged, you'd be able to change it. But in this case, this cord is firmly affixed into the mic. If you break this junction, if you break this cord, I'm afraid this mic is going to be useless. This mic also comes with a standard TRS mount, which will work on cameras. It will not plug into things like iPads with a traditional 3.5 millimeter attachment. It just won't work. You need a 3.5 to TRRS adapter that would might make this work. Let's see what the settings. There is actually no, let's see. There's actually no instructions for this mic. Let's see. Rating. So on the box itself, we just got unidirectional, hot shoe mount, DSLR. Sensitivity is 30 to 18,000 Hertz. It is a uh, minus 40 decibels. And more importantly, it's 200 ohms of impedance. And the signal to noise ratio is 76 decibels. And it takes a battery. What? 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 Enhance your bu, 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 it attaches lightning. Oh, just to let you know, folks, this does not include a lightning to 3.5 adapter. You'd have to get the $10 one from Apple itself. So this will fit into the Apple iPhone adapter. All right, folks, that was the end of this review. I'm still a little weary of what this 90 and 120 degree does since there's absolutely no instructions on the box. Unlike my Rode Video Micro, this does not have a shock mount. This might transfer more vibrations if this is on the camera itself. It does not isolate the microphone for any shakes and wobbles. Now, let me show you my Rode Micro. So the Rode Micro has this shock mount that isolates the microphone. This does not have one. In theory, I guess I could try and shove this onto the Rode. I, I don't know why I'd do that. Guys, comment below. Does anybody know what this 90 and 120 does? I'm thinking it's the angle of sound that you're gonna get. But for now, this is the build. It's all plastic, it's very lightweight. It's got a decent enough cord to get you at least a foot away. This is about 12 inches. And the mic is, uh, from all appearances, looks like it should work well. I'm gonna go plug it in and see if I can get some tests on it. Until then, this has been a review of the DigiPower compact shotgun mic. It's 20 bucks on pretty much anywhere. I'll put a link in the description below. All right, folks, that's another review for you. If you guys kind of like this idea of looking at accessories that you could use as well, go ahead and click that like button, hit subscribe, and turn on notifications for the next upcoming video. Until then, go ahead, start shooting and making some more videos for yourselves. Guys, here we have the test unit, which is my Asus Republic of Gamers laptop. We've got our DigiPower mic we're gonna test. I'm just gonna prop it up on a tripod so it's more in line with my mouth and insert it into the laptop's mic, separate mic jack, if I can find it. There we go. Oh boy, it's hard finding it and getting it in. Microphone on. The light shows up. Okay, folks, here is the test. Right now, the microphone is unplugged. I am going to plug in the mic and it will record to the DigiPower. The DigiPower is turned on. 
I am plugging in the headset. You may hear a click right about now. Okay, now I have switched over to the mic. I am speaking about three inches away from the mic itself. Is it picking up any difference? Do you guys hear a difference? Obviously, it's quiet room, so there isn't any background noise to compare. But how is my voice compared to the one from the laptop? Now I'm going to unplug the mic. So now I'm back to the computer. Asus Republic of Gamers, just a regular built-in laptop mic. Is there a difference? Folks, you tell me. Now I'm going to switch the mic to the 90 setting on the microphone. And again, I will create this test. You'll hear a click. Let's see what happens. Okay, I have just clicked in the DigiPower mic. It's setting at 90, and I'm talking directly into the mic about three inches away. Guys, do you hear any difference? This, is, has, this has been a test of the DigiPower mic for $15. If you need a mic, this will definitely work on a laptop.